you. It's my first time uh, down in South Africa, so I have heard marvelous stories. So I will spend as well a couple of days afterwards for holiday. So uh, <laughs> thinking, uh, making it worse to come down here. Um, and today we're going to talk about our oils, which is uh, particularly exciting because Schmincke started 1881 with oil cups. So the Mussini oils is or are the very first product of this. How? Um, so we are traveling back in time. In the 1880s, 1870s, there were no aluminium tubes as you know them today as pretty standard, everything is in aluminium tubes. But back in these days, aluminium tubes were just upcoming and rarely seen. Cesare Mussini is or was a, a professor in, in Florence, Italy, and he had very special formulas um, on oil pines, so roughly 100 colors, together with a resin, so resin oil colors. And he had a problem, well, he, he just were mixing, so he had an inquiry, I want to have a Caesar purple in Mussini, um, and he made it just for you. Not a very commercial way, so he made it up, milled it, and put it in bags, and then here you have your Caesar purple. Not a very commercial way to uh, to, to make that. So, um, Hermann Schminke, um, the name of the company, and his brother-in-law, Joseph Horadam, um, they were working in, a, in an ultramarine factory in Düsseldorf. Um, so Düsseldorf, um, western part of Germany, close to the Netherlands, where Schminke, the Schminke factory still is. They went to a trade fair in Florence and met up with Mussini. And the conjoint was that, well, Schminke and Hordam, they were searching for a way to put Mussini pines into a tube, and Mussini was then handing over the recipes for them to commercialize it to the world. <coughs> so, Mussini from Schminke is the very first product of us. Sad story about that. Mussini, so Cesare Mussini, passed away before the first tube of Mussini pine. <laughs> But then, um, so it still is, uh, we're very proud to, to, to manufacture these. Um, and everything what comes from Schmincke is made in Germany. Um, so we have just one factory where production is warehouses, administration, laboratory. All what comes from Schmincke is made in Germany. Um, saying that, we are, as Natasha said already we are awarded as brand of century which makes us really proud and um, proves um, or gives us uh, motivation in, in what we do um, to, to keep that high standard of, of artist materials um, alongside with brands like Mercedes-Benz or Remova uh, which are more known as a, as a little paint manufacturer um, yeah so oil is very important for us and um, question, how long does it take us to produce one tube of Mussini or Norma oil paint? To answer this question we have to back up a little. What is color or what is, what is oil color made of? Pigment this is the basis for the, the heart of, of every, every, every color as well for, for oil colors. We mix that together with oils for the Norma and with oil and resin for the Mussini. I'm going to talk about the resin in a, in a bit. Mix it together like in the kitchen you have a recipe, you take uh, mix it together and then you or we mill it on a triple mill. Why we do that? To get these butteriness to release get the pigments and oils to stick together because some pigments are a bit, a bit coarse, a bit heavier, a bit, a bit, a bit harder to grind, some others are, are smooth. We uh, want to have a very smooth consistency overall. That's why we do the triple mill um, and we mill not once, not twice, three times for Norma and sometimes even four times for the seam. 
and thereafter we might do another step, but now it's you. Um, how long does it take us that process to, to produce a cube of Norma or Lucy? A day? A couple of hours? <laughs> Maybe couple a week? Yeah. Okay. A couple of hours. A couple of months. So it takes us three to four months in, in producing that. You question yourself, well, do you do you, uh, do we have an efficiency problem? <laughs> what's what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> it's just a it takes you four months. The long or the, the longest part is the ripening. So you like a good South African wine, you need some time to ripen. And we give the oil pines the time to relax and to ripen. Why? Every oil color ripens. This you see if you if you open up a tube of oil paint, you have a drop of oil on top. This is a natural process because during during the, the production, the pigments seep in lots of oil which they can't hold, so they're letting it off after some time. And this process we do prior to filling it into the tube, and we fill um, the, the milk paint into buckets and let them rest. And so after some time, due to the lower density of the oil, the oil is creeping up to the top. We skim that off and then just fill the pure oil paint into the tube. So if you buy a, uh, a Norma or a Lucini, um, the surplus of oil is at a very known or just a very, very, very limited yeah, yeah, so uh, point. So it's, it's about the, the pleasure in a way. You, you, you want to you pull out or pour the, the paint. You just don't want to have a huge drop of oil, which you can use, mix it under the paint. But still, if you want to, want to buy oil, you go to the groceries. Here at the Decolage, you buy fine oil. <laughs> So that's why oil, this is the difference then as well to, um, to Academy, which is our professional line, and this uh, there's the ripening in the tube. So Mussini, Norma, outside the tube takes a long time. But now I, I see the question, what's the resin, or what does resin do in the paint? Thinking of painting in layers, you have to wait for a long time to oil paint really dries, that's something usual. But what does oil or oil paint do during the drying? It slightly augments volume, so oxygen comes in and augments volume. Why is it important to know? If you paint in layers and your lower layer is dry, um, it's still creeping up and the upper layer breaks, comes up there. Um, the resin does the complete opposite, it shrinks. This is why a Mussini found, well, found formulas for each pigment and each oil combination with no change in volume during the drying. So he experimented with that over his lifetime. For each color, the right amount of resin, the right amount of oil to, to have an equilibrated drying time. Um, what's as well important is um, the glossiness. The, the resin gives the gloss to, to the paint. And, which is as well, we, we talk about emotions as well. So it's, it's a very resinous smell, which is quite, quite nice. If you well, um, pass that around, have a little smell on that. And so you, you, you smell it, it's, it's, it's different. But, but that's about. The, the emotion is much more than just just doing paint. It's so your whites don't take longer yeah. to dry than the others. It's so the, the, it, the drying time is equilibrated. It still takes time because of uh, the oils we use, but um, it's it's equilibrated a little a little slower. If you look to the uh, Mussini brochure, I will get one on the bag. Sorry, Marcel. Yeah. Can Beth start? I just. While you talk? Sure. I, I'm, I'm already at the, uh, okay. at the finish line. I... 
see Bernie at Goodstone waving the flag. <laughs> <laughs> um, what you see here is... Sorry. Sorry. This is an uh, invention from, from us. We did that last year uh, as uh, 2021, so 140 years of Lucini. We had invented a drying time scale. So it gives you an indication of each single color, how long it approximately needs to dry. So these are, uh, these are the three steps. So one to two days, three to eight days, and, and six to eight days. Well, if you have such a big layer, it takes long, but uh, that's just to give you an approximate. Uh, is that on the tube? This is not on the tube, but in the brochure. Yes. Thank you. Uh, just pass it around so that you, you see. And, um, well, last point um, important to know is that we're not just using linseed oil for, for oil, which has a very, very good characteristics in the brine. We're using different oils like poppy oil, safflower oil, which are lighter in color. I, so, if, if a white yellows, this is not what, what our aspiration is. So, we're using lighter, uh, lighter oils for um, for lighter colors. If yellow, yellows, then it's mini, but. Uh, Especially for white colors, that's a very delicate way. That's actually about our oils. <laughs> so now, I'd like to, to, to uh, bring the oil into, into light. So we produce it, you, you, you make the magic. <laughs> And Marcel, so the Mussini does dry a lot quicker, though. That is well than normal. It, it's it's always I get get that question uh, a lot a uh, lot of times. So it's 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 somehow quicker, but but you still need to use a uh, drying accelerator to really accelerate your dry. It's not dry as such, but but if you have a thin layer, then it's it dries compared to normal a bit quicker. And is it better, would you say, the Mussini? Well, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it better? <laughs> oh, well, well, it's better, it's to, to your liking. I mean, um, I, I'm not an artist, but if I would go for, for oil, um, the, the resinous smell, the, the glossiness of the color, um, so it's, it's very pleasant. To, to work with from a non-artist point of view. You tell the, the afterwards if you like it, but um, I mean, Norma is, is, is a premium oil paint. It's not a bad paint, but just Mussini has the little extra, which is the resin in it. Yeah. Interesting to see if I'm noticing any difference. Yes. You tell me. And it's intermixable. <laughs> Yeah, it's obviously intermixed. At the end of the day, it's an oil paint. So you can mix it with, with your standard, standard palette that you have at home. Um, you, you can mix it with a normal paint. It's not a closed system just because it's, it's, it's resin. Yeah. So you can take for, for certain areas, for certain highlights, you can take the, the Mussini paint um, and, and do the rest with normal. Or just have an entire painting just with Mussini, so it's, it's not, not limited in its, its, its usage. So, um, so Beth, are you using all Mussini? Uh, no, so I've got a combination of Mussini, Norma, and I've got an academy. One tube. One tube of, of academy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going to be next.